Microsoft is preparing to release what could be the most significant update to Windows in years, and the information coming out right now suggests a complete transformation of how people interact with their computers. Windows 12 represents a fundamental shift away from the traditional desktop experience toward an operating system built from the ground up around artificial intelligence and voice commands, marking the end of an era where clicking and typing were the primary ways to control a computer. Microsoft's Windows team has revealed that the next version will consist of an ambient computing experience that allows computers to understand what users want to do without requiring traditional clicks and typed commands. This approach fundamentally changes the relationship between users and their devices. Instead of navigating through menus and folders to find what they need, people will simply tell their computer what they want to accomplish using natural language, and the system will handle the complex tasks behind the scenes. The artificial intelligence features being developed for Windows 12 will include agents that proactively assist users instead of waiting for commands, creating a more interactive workflow that adapts to individual needs. These intelligent assistants will learn from how someone uses their computer and begin making suggestions or automating routine tasks without being asked. For example, if someone always opens certain programs when starting a specific type of project, the system might automatically prepare those tools and files when it detects similar work beginning. The new operating system will use a combination of processing power from the user's device and Microsoft's cloud computing infrastructure to deliver these advanced capabilities. This hybrid approach allows the system to perform complex tasks quickly while maintaining privacy for sensitive information that never leaves the local machine. The balance between local and cloud processing represents a significant technical achievement that enables features previously impossible on standalone computers. The visual design of Windows 12 has also undergone substantial revision based on leaked images and concept demonstrations. Early glimpses reveal a floating taskbar design with repositioned system icons that offer greater flexibility compared to the fixed layout of Windows 11. This change addresses one of the most common complaints from business users who found the centered taskbar difficult to customize for their workflow needs. The floating design allows people to move the taskbar to different positions on the screen or even hide it completely when not needed. Leaked concepts show more fluid animations and gesture controls, along with an updated login screen optimized for widescreen displays. These refinements suggest Microsoft has focused on making every interaction feel smoother and more responsive. The animations aren't just decorative elements, but provide visual feedback that helps users understand what the system is doing at any moment. The gesture support means people using touchscreen devices or trackpads will have more natural ways to navigate through their work. The interface emphasizes a cleaner and more modular design that adapts to individual workflows instead of forcing everyone to work the same way. This flexibility represents a major departure from previous Windows versions that imposed a specific organizational structure on users. The modular approach allows people to arrange their workspace based on the tasks they perform most frequently, creating personalized layouts that improve efficiency and reduce frustration. The timing of Windows 12's release has been a subject of considerable speculation within the technology industry. Reports indicate Microsoft is targeting an October 2025 launch, although the company has not made any official announcements confirming this date. This timing would align with the end of support for Windows 10, which Microsoft plans to discontinue around the same period. The strategic alignment of these dates suggests Microsoft wants to create a clear transition path for the millions of users still running the older operating system. Some industry analysts believe the release might be pushed back to 2027 based on Microsoft's historical pattern of maintaining five-year gaps between major Windows versions. This uncertainty stems from Microsoft's focus on continuously updating Windows 11 rather than abandoning it for a completely new version. The company has invested heavily in improving Windows 11 through regular feature updates, which could extend its lifespan and delay the need for a successor. The hardware requirements for Windows 12 have generated significant discussion, particularly given the controversy surrounding Windows 11's strict compatibility limitations. Speculation suggests the new operating system will require a minimum of 8 gigabytes of memory, though some sources indicate 16 gigabytes might become the baseline requirement. 
This substantial increase compared to Windows 11's 4GB minimum reflects the computational demands of the advanced artificial intelligence features being integrated throughout the system. Storage requirements are expected to start at 64GB, with a strong emphasis on solid-state drives becoming mandatory rather than optional. The shift away from traditional hard drives makes sense given the performance improvements solid-state storage provides, but it also means older computers with mechanical drives will likely be unable to run the new operating system regardless of their other specifications. The performance improvements being developed for Windows 12 extend beyond just the artificial intelligence features. The system is being designed with a modular architecture that enables faster startup times and better compatibility with different hardware configurations. This modularity allows Windows to load only the components necessary for a specific device, reducing bloat and improving responsiveness across a wider range of computer types. Enhanced cloud service integration will provide seamless access and synchronization across multiple devices. This means someone could start working on a document at their desk, continue on a tablet during their commute, and finish on their phone without any manual file transfers or setup. The integration goes deeper than simple file storage, extending to application settings, preferences, and even the state of running programs. Improvements to multitasking and multi-monitor support are also planned, addressing pain points that have frustrated users for years. The new system will remember window positions and arrangements for different monitor configurations, automatically adapting when someone connects or disconnects displays. This intelligence eliminates the annoying problem of windows appearing in random positions when returning to a desk setup after using a laptop on its own. Gaming receives attention in the Windows 12 development roadmap as well. Upgrades targeting gaming performance could rival dedicated gaming platforms. Microsoft has been investing heavily in making Windows a premier gaming destination, and these improvements suggest that commitment will continue with reduced latency, better graphics processing allocation, and enhanced support for the latest gaming technologies. The ambitious scope of Windows 12 represents Microsoft's vision for computing over the next decade. The integration of artificial intelligence at every level of the operating system, combined with a flexible interface and powerful performance improvements, suggests a genuine attempt to reimagine how people interact with their computers. Whether this vision succeeds depends on execution, hardware compatibility, and user acceptance of these dramatic changes. The coming months will reveal more concrete information as Microsoft moves closer to an official announcement, but the information available now indicates Windows 12 will be unlike any previous version of the operating system.